What the Venus Project proposes is that we bring all the nations together and uh, take care of everything on Earth. We pledge allegiance to the environment and all the world's people. The end of separate nations, the end of the artificial boundaries that separate people, and the sharing of all the world's resources by all the world's people. If few nations control most of the Earth's resources, you're going to have territorial disputes. You're going to have war. You're going to have all the problems you've always had. That's why most people think it's human nature. They think man is basically greedy and that this is why you have problems. That is not true. You must design for human comfort and you must design cities with art centers, music centers, cultural centers. I can only talk a little bit about America because that's where I'm from. I don't like our country. It's completely corrupt. And that's for most civilizations today. They're all corrupt. I'm sorry to say that. I don't like what I'm saying. I wish it were otherwise. We are brought up in a system called established. Established means it serves the interest of the lead group, the control group. What we really need is an emergent society. There are no great men, no great women. All people are creative, but they're not brought up to know what that means. So when they tell you that your government likes you, they're working for you, all that's bunk. When I say people hardly know what they're talking about, because they're not brought up to be sane. They're brought up to fit in with the establishment. National loyalty is really a form of stupidity. All people need clean air, clean water, arable land, and a relevant education. That means no businessmen, no advertising, no investment bankers. Our schools do not teach you much. They're mostly concerned with propaganda. Most schools don't teach you how to live, find meaning in your own life, how to disagree without getting angry. What is really needed is the intelligent management of the Earth's resources for the benefit of everyone. Now, the only way you can do that is through technology. Everything that you have, your lights, your air conditioning, your automobile, your airplanes, all technology. Politicians can't give you that. Politicians don't know what to do. They make laws, say no to drugs. Well, that's not going to stop a person from selling drugs as long as there's money in it. But if you do away with the money system and build access centers where anyone can have access to the necessities of life without filling out a million forms or appealing to fresco, it's all available to everyone. Go to your big department stores or your food stores, you'll see lots of stuff. We are now capable of producing an abundance. How can you pray to a God? How can you talk to God? They think through the ego problems that they're specially selected. The Jews are God's chosen people. The Germans are the master race. You know, all these little egocentric people think that they're put here to lead the world into a better direction. Galileo found seashells on the mountaintop. He took it to the Catholic Church and he said, maybe the mountain was once under the water and was pushed up. And the church said, no, the devil put that stuff there to confuse you. So the world you live in is as full of shit as a Christmas turkey. And you're not about to talk to people and turn them around. You have to demonstrate it. So I don't say science is perfect, but it's closer to our problems than any other system. People really don't know what to do, so they put up a sign, thou shalt not steal, don't steal, don't be dishonest. That doesn't change people. All money systems, as they begin to collapse and change, they move toward fascism. It's part of the history of civilization to move in that direction. The wealthy people try to protect what they have. I'm not your enemy. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm trying to tell you that if we use science and technology, everyone will be given the best opportunity so that we can bring out the best in every human being.